What is going on guys? Today we're gonna to be doing an oil change on my 2018 Audi RS3. Now, I wanna let you guys in on a little secret as to how I get oil changes on my RS3 for practically free. And if you guys have a European car, Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, and quite a lot more, definitely stick around because you could be getting this too and you could be passing up on a pretty huge opportunity. Now, I wanna go over the stuff you need. Now, this is a website called FCP Euro and it is an oil service kit. Basically, everything you need to do a proper oil change on your car and the best part about this is once I'm done with this I'm gonna put the old oil back in the jugs and ship it off to them and they're gonna comp me everything that I paid now before I go any further I want to show you everything that this comes with this is some top-of-the-line oil as well as oil filters and plugs and everything that you have here the specific oil that you need for this car is SAE 5w30 and this is made in Germany oil they even have an OE like Hengst oil filter also made in Poland and then it even comes with a drain plug, which is super cool. And also the drain crush washer you can see right here. All you need to do is put everything you have in here back into this and ship it off to them and they'll refund you for free. And I'll explain a bit more about the process later on in today's video, but let's get this car ready for its oil change. First thing I did was jack the car up on either side. I put the jack a little behind the jacking point still on the pinch weld though, just to make some room for the jack stand itself. Audi puts a little mark on the side skirt for where the jack stand should be placed. Next is the belly pan. There are seven T25 Torx bits to remove, and then there are three T45 Torx bits. And for my car, there are also 13 millimeter bolts that can be unscrewed in the rear. With all the screws off, the pan can be unclipped and removed. Lastly, using a Torx T40, I removed the drain plug bolt and the crush washer. There we go. Now we're gonna just unplug the top. And we should get some more oil to come out. Once all the oil is drained out, we're gonna use a new drain bolt and a new crush washer. And this gets torqued to about 20 foot pounds, 22 newton meters to be exact. Next up is installation of the oil filter. And with this, you need to get a special tool. And this is to actually drain the oil filter first, the oil housing first. And then once you're done draining it, you can unscrew the oil filter and use this. Sometimes you might need some special pliers to remove that filter because sometimes you put it on too tight, but uh, this is the tools that you're gonna need next. The tool is pretty simple to use. Just screw the blue part in first, and then when you're ready, tighten down the black part and it will open the bleeder valve and drain the excess oil. oil drained out, you can unscrew the oil housing counterclockwise. Also, make sure to check the description where you can find all these tools. All right, so with the old filter out, we need to put this new one in. So the first thing you want to do is get this one out. And this is a Hengst oil filter. Always good to use OEM or similar in quality. And it also comes with a gasket, which we're going to use we're gonna put oil on this, newer, old, doesn't matter. And then we're going to take the old one out in here and we're gonna put the new one in. So this comes out pretty straightforward, it can go either way. The next thing we're gonna do is there's a little, right in here you could probably pull it, I think I'm gonna need a pliers. And with the old one out, we're gonna use a little bit of this old oil. We're gonna get this all lubed up here. Nice. And this then slides over. I'm gonna push this into place. 
and then this filter, we're gonna get a little bit of new oil and we're gonna put some new oil on this. And then we just slide this into here. And the last step is just taking some fresh oil and we're gonna prime the filter a little bit here. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Just go ahead and lightly pour some of this oil around the new filter. Don't spill it. I am spilling it everywhere. Great. But uh, pour some down the middle and we should be good to go. Now I'm just gonna clean this up, not get it on the car and uh, reinstall this. To install, just do everything in reverse. Keep in mind the filter housing is plastic, so don't crank on it. Just get it snug and you'll be okay. is just topping everything off with oil. And this car specifically takes seven and a half quarts of oil. So I guess we'll start with the big one, which is five quarts. And then we will go to, or 5.28 US quarts. It's actually a little bit more. So we're gonna do this big one, and then we're gonna do the rest. That one's a little over five quarts in there, about a little, little less than five and a half. This should be another 1.06, five and a half. We should be at like six. This is six and a half. And this should be about seven and a half, and then we'll check the dipstick with the car down. Make sure all the oil is in. We'll probably put a little bit more in just because this car is tuned. And this car likes to burn just a, a little bit of oil in between 5,000 miles. Maybe right, a little less than half a quart to half a quart between 5,000 mile intervals. So we'll get the dipstick right to about full, maybe a little bit higher than full. That's also what the Audi dealer does. Make sure when you check the dipstick, you have the car on level ground. There's a chance at first it will read higher because the car hasn't cycled the oil through the pump and filter housing yet. Also, don't be alarmed if when you start the car, it sounds horrible for the first couple of seconds. The engine is just running dry before the oil gets moving. All right, so let's check the dipstick. And I don't know if you can see that, but we are full. So we're just gonna let this engine run for a minute or two. And then we're gonna put a little more oil in. As you can see, after circulating the engine, we are right at about here, so not even halfway. So we need to put a little bit more oil in. Check it out, we are just at full. You can see we're at full on there. So we can put a little bit more in, but we should be okay. And of course I wasn't filming, but I had an oil change due in 17 days. So I just wanna show you how you reset your oil change light. You're gonna go over here and you're gonna click menu, scroll up to vehicle, then go click side, go down to service and checks and then you're gonna click service intervals and I accidentally reset mine while, and I wasn't recording, which is lovely, but you're just gonna click reset oil change. You're gonna click yes and oil change level has been reset and you're good to go. And we're gonna do another one in another 5,000 miles. And it's that simple, that's the last step. So guys, it is that easy to do an oil change in your 2018 Audi RS3. Obviously, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. But this video is not done. I still wanna show you what the next steps are with all your used oil and your used oil filter and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you how we package it and we're gonna print the label and I'm gonna show you a really cool website where you can get labels for dirt cheap, about 80% off using USPS and UPS. And we can ship that out and we'll be able to get a refund on uh, FCP Euro and I'll show you how to do that too in this video. So in order to get your oil practically for free, the first thing you need to do is refill all the jugs back up with your old oil and make sure you save your old filter, crush washer, and drain plug.
Then you want to head on over to the FCP Euro website and start your lifetime guarantee free return. The catch is that you need to already have purchased this oil once before, but every time after that you will get a full refund. As you can see, I've purchased this oil once before and all you have to do is let them know the new order that you're replacing it with, enter your VIN and print out the RMA form and add it to the packaging. SCP Euro specifically states that you need to double bag and seal your oil or any liquids. And if you skip these steps, you won't be refunded. So make sure to do that and package it well. The last step is to head on over to the website called PirateShip.com. They are completely free and offer wholesale prices where you can save up to 88% off USPS and UPS shipping rates. Just enter your package dimensions and wait, choose a rate, and buy the label, and it's that easy. Otherwise, that's it for today's video, and if you want to see how to change a water pump on an Audi RS3, then check out this video here.